When rumors spread of another police shooting of a black man, activist Nakima Levy Armstrong said the Minneapolis police chief called her, told her the truth, and said there was video to show it. When we realized that things were extremely combustible, we headed downtown. And we began to show people the video, and we began to uh, talk to people and try to tell people the true story of what happened in that situation. She says without their efforts, things could have been much worse. We wanted to get into downtown and then try and see if we can, you know, one, give the community the truth. Chantel Allen, one of the leaders of Black Lives Matter Minneapolis, also helped dispel the rumors on the street and quell the tensions. But she said she still has major concerns about the way police treated her and others last night. They were yelling in my face. Individuals need to recognize that how they treat other citizens. You know, all of us are not criminals. These leaders point out that all the tension Wednesday night was happening as this video was spreading. A white 17-year-old in Kenosha, Wisconsin, who had just shot three people, according to investigators, and was able to walk past police while holding the rifle. You keep telling us all lives matter, but we keep seeing the evidence that all lives don't matter because black lives do not matter. But we're sitting on a tinderbox. Um, there's no doubt about that. Chris Harapsky, CARE 11 News.